Karibuni tena katika kipindi cha Career Clinic na hii leo tunayo wageni wawili ambao kutoka kampuni mbili tofauti. Mmoja ni anatoka katika bank na mwingine anatoka katika taasisi ambayo inaendesha mafunzo ya wellness and health. Na mgeni wetu wa kwanza ni Peter Joseph, yeye ni training and development manager wa INM Bank. Na pia mgeni wetu wa pili ni Bart Shah, yeye ni mkurugenzi na mwanzilishi wa Impact Afya. Na wote leo tutapata kuzungumza train ya human capital katika Afrika. Huu ni mwendelezo wa the trend of human capital katika Afrika. Focus yetu ni focus katika develop the high performance uh, team. Na mnaje na kuweza kutengeneza high performance team pamoja na wellness team. Hivi ni vitu viwili ambavyo ni muhimu sana kama ukiwa na high performance uh, team na wellness team kwa makampuni nayo inakuwa ipo well. Na hakika kwamba leo tutapata kujifunza vitu vingi kwa wageni wetu karibuni sana asante sana yes karibu sana pita karibu sana baba asante yes yes habari za siku yes yes na habari za kazi njema kabisa yes yes na tupo kwenye mfuko mfumo wa ramadhani yes mnaonaje ramadhani njema yes yes hapo tunasema kazi tu yes yes Uh, leo tutapata ku discuss kama tumwambia ndugu watazamaji kwamba kuhusiana na namna ya kutengeneza high performance team pamoja na well team. Team ambayo ipo well off kwa maana team ambayo inaweza matuna makubwa na kampuni ikaanza kuleta uh, matokeo mazuri. But tunaposema high performance team tunamaanisha nini? high performance team uh, what that means is a team that is active that is alert that is productive all the time yes and uh, in, in a high performing organization you will see a very low absenteeism rate yes and uh, we also have what is called presenteeism mm. which means uh, you are mm. physically present but mm. uh, the work is not getting done Okay. And so with the high performance team you mm. see this rates being minimized completely. Peter, kwamba katika organization ambayo ushakufanya kazi au katika other organization, ushakutana na some team members ambao kwamba wapo ofisini lakini kama wapo. Yeah, hivyo vitu vipo. So how much in a garim company yenu au kampuni yoyote? Yeah. Basically, kampuni leo yuko inafanya kazi pro I mean mainly kwa hizi profit making companies mm. we need it to deliver yes to yes. deliver and it makes yes that we achieve our goals and strategies yes. so kama tusipoku kuwa na team ambayo iko jointly ambayo mm. inaweza ikawa na uwezo wa kudeliver mm. according to what the organization is focusing mm. then ina kuwa ngumu kufikia mwisho. Kwa hiyo timu yangu yes. na timu ya mtu mwingine. Say this is human resource department. Mm. Finance they have the role to play in order mm. to achieve organization goal. Treasure they have the role. So lazima tuko work as a team to achieve our strategic objective in the company. Je, yeah, ushe kuona kwenye kampuni yoyote ndio yeah. kwamba ni kiasi gani kwamba ukiona team kwamba ai perform vizuri ni gharama kiasi gani kampuni inaenkaa kwa sababu ya team haipo na uwezo kwa ku perform hizo watu wapo ofisini lakini hawapo well off gharama kesi gani ambayo kampuni inaikaa kwa sababu ya kutokuwa na high performance team na well of team okay. kama team haiko well to perform means mm. kwamba organization ita perform by mm. organization ki perform by means kwamba revenue, revenue itapungua yes reputation and trust ambayo nayo kwenye industry ambayo kwenye society itapungua mm kuna sekta ya banki sekta ya banki kama uja perform vizuri hmm. utakuwa na queries nyingi utakuwa na complaints nyingi kuna hmm. regulator kama BOT wanakumonita so hmm. lazima uwe na uwezo wa perform usipofanya hivyo watakufungia hmm. wakikufungia what do you understand kwamba ni umepoteza investment ambayo uliweka shareholder hmm. una cha kupatia na kitu kidogo tu ambacho kwa mangeza kukifanya ni kuza produce high performance team na well of team ambapo program kama hizo zipo always yes. katika corporate mali mali yeah. yes back to uh, what are the step to build 
have the awareness too. Okay. What are the key steps? Okay, there are a number of steps, and and I think uh, like you know when an organization is doing its strategic planning, yes, one yes. of the one of the areas they look at is a risk mm. analysis. Yes. So similarly, when it mm. comes to the wellness, it is mm. important for an organization to conduct a health risk analysis, mm. and a health risk analysis is conducted by means of testing the staff, doing mm. the screening, mm. which can be done at site. Hmm. And uh, and we could look at what is prevalence nationally. We hmm. could, you know, one could look at that, hmm. and then look at what is the age distribution of the employees, hmm. and then make some judgment regarding what should the staff be screened for. Okay. Uh, because obviously HIV AIDS prevalence is high, but along hmm. with that, there is a lot of concern now regarding hmm. the prevalence of lifestyle diseases, the mm. non-communicable diseases, mm. yes, yes. which are the diabetes, the hypertension, the weight, the obesity, mm. which yes. also lead to a lot of risks. Mm. So it is important to take a stock of that mm. and to take a stock of the mental health because stress is an issue. Mm. And stress does give rise to a lot of both physical health and the mental health problems. Mm. And so it would be good to do like a stress audit Okay. And uh, so that, once you have got the surveys done, then you've got a risk analysis, mm. and then you are able to come up with targeted interventions okay. uh, for that. Yeah. Okay. And the targeted interventions could be in the form of uh, seminars, webinars, mm. uh, they can be in the form of a lot of targeted communication that is being mm. you know, sent to the staff, okay. and it could also be creating that, that culture the environment mm. within within the company. Okay, mm. that's good. What is the situation now? What is it? Uh, what is happening now in Tanzania in terms of uh, wellness and uh, high performance team? Yeah, if all you have is Tanzania, my company out, go do na na pia, nje Tanzania pa poje. Right. Well, I I think. Uh, Basically, what we are seeing is that over the last couple of years, uh, some of the industries ha are becoming very much aware of the need for uh, having organized mm. wellness programs. Yes, yes. And uh, we are, for example, dealing with uh, currently working with a security company. Mm. We have worked with a construction, with a small construction company. We have yes. worked with a multinational bank as well. Yes, yes. And so everywhere the experiences are slightly different mm. and mm. the programs, the way they are structured is slightly mm. different as well. Mm. But what we really now need to look at is more of a long-term strategic thinking mm -hmm. because for a wellness program to, just like any other strategy, mm -hmm. uh, in order to see benefits of a well-structured comprehensive wellness program, it mm -hmm. takes about two to three years okay. to see that. So okay. it is not just like, you know, that you go in, you do a couple of seminars, you do mm -hmm. exercises, you do this, you do that. Okay. Yes, you will see some changes, but it is not going to be sustainable. Yes. So in order to see a sustainable change, mm. it is it is important to look at, to plan a two to three years program yes. with regular monitoring and evaluation okay. so that the program can be adjusted. Okay. And uh, uh, regarding outside Tanzania, what is the situation in Boi Natokea Kwa Nchikawa Marikani, corporate right. Well, I think uh, when you look at countries, the developed countries like mm. the US and mm. the UK and mm. Europe, uh, even in countries like uh, China and India, mm. you are seeing there is a lot of awareness regarding staff health because okay. because this is all built around the philosophy that if you've got healthy employees, then you are mm. going to have a healthy business. And, and this is where there are well-structured programs, mm. there are uh, wellness champions, there mm. is a, a, a whole culture that is built around it. The mm. leadership, the chief executives actually walk the talk as well. Okay. So, you know, bike riding to work, uh, uh, continuous, you know, physically, physical activity mm. breaks at work. Mm. Yoga is really catching up because mm. yoga helps for stress management. Mm. And there is a lot more awareness regarding mental mm. health and stress management as well, mm. where there are counselors that are, you know, that are mm. available for employees to get mm. to. 
And in mm. the in the third aspect is the work-life balance, mm. because uh, now with the work dual life balance. work life balance, yes. because now we see more and more mm. dual career couple. Mm. Uh, we are also seeing nuclear families, especially mm. in an urban area like mm. Dharasaram, yes. where you know where where these couples, when they are trying to raise their family, they do mm. need some sort of a support system. Yes. And and uh, so wellness programs mm. would aim at providing that support system uh, via different means. Mr. Peter. Yes. What is the role here? training and development manager kwa mimi na HR manager kwenye corporate kuhakikisha kwamba sasa kama kuna kuwapo na uh, team kujenga team ambayo ni high performance na pia ipo well off okay kwa kawaida kuna vitu vitatu ambavyo tunavitazama katika kampuni au katika organization hmm. we are looking at employee tunatazama wateja and we are looking about the investors hmm. shareholders Mm. So you will ask yourself the first question who will come first between these two three client shareholder and the employee Utaona kwamba staff or employee atakuwa wa kwanza kwa mtu mwingine atakwambia ni shareholder kwa sababu ameika ile yake ni sio atakuja kwa human resource perspective we are looking about the human resources we have we are looking mm. about the employees mm. so the cli- i mean client they will need give us the deposit they will mm. buy our service they will buy our product mm. shareholders they will invest their money lakini kama hatujaangalia hawa watu ambao wana drive strategies mm. we have a good corporate strategy that mm. we want to reach to increase our market share we want to reach a certain number of revenue in the five years to come lakini mm. you will have resources you will have a very good system technology but mm. you see the, you see need good resources who are motivated who are well off you have a very mm. standard compensation systems ambazo zina motivate one so role ya hr manager mm. ni to take care about the human resources hicho ni kitu cha kwanza training manager ana role pia kwa sababu kama tuna strategy we want to establish new branches maybe mm. in Mwanza we want to expand our network mm. in mm the region lazima mm. tuwe na watu ambao they can drive mtaja mm. hawezi kuja mwenyewe akafanya shughuli lazima kuwe na resources ambazo zitamhudumia hata kama tutakuwa tume automate some system lakini still we need human resources human resource manager akiwa na uwezo wa kutengeneza team wa recruit watu ambao ni talented resources watu ambao wako vizuri wan understand knowledge wan understand market wan understand uwezo na movement tumesema HR lazima asiwe na ile role tu ya kwa administer responsibilities na process awe na uwezo wa kusupport awe strategic partner wa business kwa hiyo akiweza kushauri vile itakuwa rahisi hata kwa watu wengine kuja ku move na ku perform wa kam support na kitu kingine ambayo anayo kabisa kitu kama role ya HR lazima understand kwamba team alio nayo ina understand kwamba where are we heading at the company the vision the mission where are we supposed to be in 10 years to come Mm. What are the strategies which we have? Mm. Akiwa anaelewa kwa hiyo the way to be tengeneza a team human resource ya kishaelewa vile na watu wake wakaelewa mm. itakuwa na role pia ya training manager mm. atakuwa na develop training calendar zake training strategy zake na policy aligning with the corporate strategy and the HR strategy uh, if it can buni hapo hapo kwenye hilo swala ambalo nilizungumzia tunaona kama kuna shift kubwa sana kwenye upande wa HR na katika general tazungumzia tazungumzi kwenye jambo moja la yes. kwamba tunaangalia kwamba miaka ya zamani kulikuwa na HR alikuwa ni kama ana play part admin and then akatoka kwenye play part admin ambao kusimamia labor zao kusimamia uh, wamefika kazini na masuala yao na mambo mengine and then role ya HR ikabadilika kidogo ka shift ikaingia kwenye upande wa practice and then baada kuwa na practice watu kajita HR practitioners yule whatever ikando role kubwa ya HR kwa umeona yeah ikatoka pale ika move tena ikaingia kwamba ika move ikatokea shift ambayo kwa sasa HR role yake kubwa iko kwenye strategy ndio yeah. umeona yeah. and then even recent kwamba HR alikuwa ni mtu ambaye tena aipo tena pale ofisini atakiwa hapo mtu ni HR play role na mteja 
kutoka nje outside the office kwamba that's the role of HR as a so is chain zote mr peter ndio nda kujua kwamba how this role kwamba na HR abadilika na the training ya Tanzania jinsi ilivyo na hapa Afrika jinsi ilivyo je how far sisi tumeweza kufikia katika hiyo stage ambayo ya HR ambayo imefikiwa kwa sasa yeah let's carry unacho kusema ni kweli Hmm. kabla ya hapo zamani HR alikuwa ni mtu wa kuangalia tu nani amekuja ofisini nani hmm. amekuja kwa wakati hmm. kwa watu wa makampuni mengine anaweka mstari akishafika hmm. saa mbili na robo hajafika anatia mstari mwekundu hmm. anaondoka na ile daftari hmm. kesho jaja atakutreat kwa sababu hukuja hmm. kazini hmm. ikaenda hivyo lakini movement mazingira anaenda na badilika hmm. biashara mahitaji na teknolojia ya badilika waka shift mm. wakasema hapana tusiangalie tu hii ya kulipa mshahara ya kuangalia nani amekuja admit certificate hapana wakasema hapana movement inavyokwenda lazima tuwe na kuangalia upande mwingine wa human relations mm. sheria zinashemaje tunatengeneza vipi mahusiano na watu watumishi wetu okay waka move wakaenda kadri siku zinavyokwenda teknolojia inabadilika movement ikaenda akaenda ichara akawa na role sasa achana tofauti na ile administrative role mm. akawa na ile strategic role Hmm. akaanza kuwa invited to the management to discuss hmm. the strategic objective strategic hmm. corporate strategy the movement na yeye kama anaweza kushauri before hapo alikuwa analetewa strategies na tengenezo wa the company hajashirikishwa analetewa execute execute like, yes to execute to implement when yes. a team when a team you just hmm. execute na it means kwamba hapo kwamba HR sasa hivi anatoa ana add value kwa yes. namna yoyote yes. kwa role ya HR sasa hivi kama mtu akisoma vizuri kwamba anakuta kwamba HR ipo katika kwa add value kwenye kampuni exactly ukiplay bado ile old style au tuseme uko kwenye ile traditional bado ile unaonekana yeah, bado upo irrelevant yes kama HR add value kwenye kampuni ambazo ni kubwa sasa hivi sana ambazo zime adapt changes almost yes you become irrelevant ndio ndio that's your meaning ni kweli kabisa kwa sababu yeah. unapotazama yeah. HR ambaye sasa yeah. yupo amekaa add value Hmm. Huyo nikawa ni sawa na mtu ambaye ningeweza kumchukua mlinzi akafanya ile kazi kwa sababu ni kitu cha kuregister mtu ameingia hajaingia. Hmm. Lakini sasa tunataka mtu anaye add value, ana hmm. extra value. Hmm. Ana uwezo wa kuperform responsibility zaidi ya hizo ambazo mtu wa kwanza alikuwa anaperform. Aweze ku advise, aweze kufanya market analysis particularly on labor market. Hmm. Trade inavyoonekana hawa watu wanakuwa more expensive. Mm. Talking maybe in bank. Treasury dealers, heads mm. of treasury wanakuwa more expensive. Mm. So what to do? anakuja na hiyo advice kwa mm. kwa hii nature ya movement ya hizi resources mm. we need to have a very clear succession plan ni kwa nataka ku tukisini hapo nataka yeah. kurudi kwenye swala ambalo nataka kupata maoni yako yeah. na opinion yako ina about yes uh, kuhusiana na disruptive uh, teknolojia imeweza kubadilisha kabisa mwelekeo wa biashara nyingi zote duniani yes. na hata pia department zote zimekuwa affected na teknolojia mfano tukizungumzia HR katika uh, upande wa HR kama tunazungumzia mambo ya ya ku automate the system yes kwa Afrika inategemea kwa baada ya 2020 uh, kampuni zote hapa Afrika zitakuwa tayari adapt kwamba ile tunasema automated system ambazo zipo ni teknolojia software sunini badala ya kutumia manual excel badala ya kutumia sunini sasa automated. Hivyo mm-hmm. hivyo kwenye upande wa training hapo walikuwa wamebadilika kwa mtu gani uh, ni nini mabadiliko makubwa kuna disruptor ametokea akabadilisha the training. Yes. Siku hizi hata trainer hawafanyi uh, tena training labda tuseme kama mara uh, kwenda kumuita labda trainer kwa sahemu ya mbali labda yupo airport uh, au labda yupo Arusha afinyie mko da. Anakwambia mimi na studio yangu ya studio training kwa live. So na gani is wewe na bakti kwa namna gani hii disruption iliyotokea kwa maimeza kwa affect training and development kwa ujumla okay yes so upande wangu naweza nikatazama katika sura ya training and development hmm. kwamba teknolojia imebadilisha process the human resource hmm. that is true and we have to learn hmm. 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 kwa sababu gani process the human resource kuna hmm. recruitment process hmm. kuna training hmm kuna pero management mm. kwa hiyo kuna vitu vingi ambavyo vinafanyika within the human resource process mm. na hizi zimekuwa automated mm. na upande mwingine zimekuwa na 
sura ya kusaidia kampuni kupunguza costi rani mm. costi mm. particularly mimi naweza nikakupa tu mfano wa mm. training mm. kwa sababu na deal zaidi na training mm. training and development before ilikuwa kwamba kuna mm. soft skill unamtoa mtu hapa dar es salaam mm. kwenda mwanza kujifunza excel mm. kujifunza communication normal communication mm. language mm. namna ya kufanya vitu lakini lakini right now vitu mm. vimefanyika vimekuwa digitalized kuna ile ni ni platform na makampuni mm. mengi mazuri duniani na hapa hapa Tanzania pia wana invest on the ile ni platform mm. na ni vitu ambavyo niko atelezo na book prices na is compatible na application na cost yes so yeah. kuna baadhi ya vitu classroom training we cannot mm. avoid mm. lakini tunapunguza tunapunguza yes. kwa hiyo tuseme teknolojia imeweza imepunguza yes yes back to wewe una una maoni gani kwa hilo jambo yes i what think what is your opinion I think digitalization is the way to go. Mm. And uh, when we look at the wellness space, digitalization mm. has been there for quite some time. Yes. yes. Uh, for example, when mm. we look at the fitness trackers mm. and when we look at the Apple mm. watches and mm. even on the smartphone we are mm. able to, you know, install an app mm. that is able to track your movements, mm. that mm. is able to track your sleep as well. Mm. Uh, because sleep is an important part of yes. Uh, yes. part of wellness also. Yes. Uh, and along with that, what uh, you know there are a lot of uh, youtubes on mm. uh, on wellness mm. out there on the internet mm. but uh, what we have done is looking at the needs here local mm. needs and the social cultural aspects here mm. uh, we have recently recorded uh, like a set of about eight different videos Mm. and uh, these are videos that discuss healthy lifestyle how do you exercise right mm. stress management it also mm. talks about healthy nutrition and there are actual demonstrations of mm. different exercises as well mm. because uh, because physical activity is very important especially for an industry like my my colleagues industry banking yes. mm. where it yes. is a sedentary lifestyle yes. and and so this is where we talk about you know that you you should not have an excuse not mm. to exercise yeah. so you know you need to be physically active and this is especially because of the rise because of the prevalence of conditions like hypertension diabetes obesity etc mm. which is creating a lot of problems do you now. think about obesity and it is so kubwa in your corporate yes definitely because <laughs> Yes it is because and and I'm saying that with with full confidence because mm. we have uh, you know we have uh, done how like, it affects the productivity I'm talking well, about it it definitely does now now if i can answer the first question when it comes to overweight and obesity because mm. we have been doing screening across the Tanzanian mm. corporates mm. and in most of the times we see that about 60 to 70% of the population of the employee population mm. falls in the overweight and obese category mm. that is one mm. secondly in some of the industries the mm. age distribution is young age distribution mm. and yet you know like mm. people in their 30s maybe mm. 20s and 30s mm. and yet when we see overweight and obesity that is an alarm that mm. is an alert that is an alarm because obesity in itself because overweight if we are not careful if that is not managed then it leads to obesity and and obesity and weight itself has got anywhere from 40 to 50 different complications mm. there are complications related to heart disease there are complications related to diabetes there is complication related to arthritis and we can just go on and on and on kwa yeah. in other language kwa ndio wanasema kwamba watu ambao ni wanene kwenye ofisi na overweight yes. kwa mba wanaanza kwenda kwa HR manager kwa kwamba ruhusa kwa mba naumwa right really? yes of course because yeah. because of the medical complications mm. they get into because of mm. the weight and obesity mm. because of the lack of physical activity because of not following proper diet and nutrition when you see the rate of absenteeism goes high and mm. there are a lot of statistics along along those lines mm. where you know diabetics how many sick days they would be mm. taking when it mm. is hypertension how many absent days they would require even something like malaria you know how many days they would they would need for absenteeism and if i can just kind of you know if i can mm. just come up with one last point on this mm. because there are some studies that are done on what is the cost Mm. what is the cost here yeah, and well, how much are you saving mm. 
mm. because of like you know because of having a wellness program mm. then then you can save like the, the, the return on investment is one to three dollars and in cases of hypertension it can go mm. as much as five to six dollars. Mfano kama wewe ni trend manager, sio hivyo? Ndio. Kwa ofisi yako. Kuna watu ambao unaona kabisa hawapo ukangalia wellness yao ipo na mashaka. Yeah. So, lakini it's two person. Yeah. Well, it's two person kwamba ku 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 approach. So, okay. yeah. so how do you deal with them so that wakaelewa kwamba kwa maana tatizo na pia zikana wengine ni wanene na ukaweza kuangalia program ili kwa sababu kwa sababu yao kwamba maybe kuwa kutu kuwa ile kwamba well of kwamba inapelekea kwamba pole activity of scene inapungua na kampuni inapoteza mapato mengi au inapoteza kulikuwa na revenue nyingi ingeza kuivuna zaidi kama ungekuwa na afya nzuri yeah come on how do you approach them kwa sababu ndio mambo ile kidogo very complicated kidogo yeah. yeah. ni kweli kabisa unapozungumzia hiyo yeah. hali unazungumzia afya ya mtu Mm. Unazungumzia mtu ambaye inabidi awe na afya njema mm. aweze ku execute majukumu yake daily mm. routine za mm. kampuni mm. yake na aweze mm. kuattain goals zake at the mm. end you are evaluating mm. the entire team has performed and the organization mm. has increased its revenue as well as you get bonus and increment at the end of the day mm. lakini tunachokitazama namna gani sasa tunamfanya mtu awe okay well of ku execute those processes mm. upunguzie hizi shida kama malazi kwa hiyo kama HR mm. tunachokifanya sisi mm. lazima kwanza unasema tunazungumzia afya ya mtu ambaye kidogo mm. kuna mtu mwingine atakuwa hayuko okay kuambia shida yake kwa sababu mm. labda ni HR mm. lakini confidentiality ndio inaleta shida mwingine anaweza kumwangalia yeah. yes kaso lazima awe mnene au mwingine udaktari ni mtu ana tatizo labda unene yes kumwambia bwana wewe na kitambe chako hiki kina kinasumbua sana ataona kama vile ume upo upo yani kama vile ume ume umeingilia mambo yake ndani ya afya yake afu me cross the line kwa hiyo inaweza kusababisha mambo hatari simelewa so asa wewe mtu kama wewe ambaye ni training manager na ni mtu ambaye unahusika na development ya watu sana so mbinu gani ambazo nataka watu wanataka kujua mbinu gani ambazo kwa approach mtu kama wewe inawezekana kuna mtu mbeni development training and development manager anakuangalia pajui Yeah. Well, now approach it to come out. Cha kwanza lazima uwe strategically. Ile vitu yeah. vifanye yeah. strategically. Yeah. Lazima uweze mm. ku understand hata industry, mm. hata kwenye mm. market unafanyaje. Mm. Utengeneze program ambazo huyu mm. yule mtu ataenda mm. lakini hajui kwa nini ameenda. Mm. Na ata enjoy the program. Mm. Yeah, utengeneze team building. Utengeneza easy friend match na kama mm. kampuni mengine. Mm. Ataenda huko ata exercise. Tengeneza like ile routine labda kila mwezi mwisho mm. wa mwezi tutaenda kucheza mpira mm. tutaenda kufanya mashindano tutaenda beach tutaenda kuenjoy mm. kwa katika kufanya yale mazoezi itamsaidia kwa namna nyingine kingine mm. tunafanya is health stock health stock na medical activation tutaleta watu wanaofanya labda wanafanya index body index ana mm. cheki kuna mtu mwingine anaangalia macho una engage na stakeholder wengine kwenye industry ambao wana wako tayari una approach ndio mnaweza kutafasanya hata hiyo chini practice kwamba yeah. uh, in reality kwamba kweli ya mama atendeka kwamba kuna makampuni mnahitaji watu wanakuja kufanya hiyo kwa kila mfanya kazi yeah. awe anatokea na draw yeah tunafanya yanatokea yanatokea okay that's yeah. good that's good that's good kama inafanyika mm-hmm. kwa sababu kuna kampuni nyingine wanapenda kufanya lakini wanaogopa wanaanzaje kuja kwa pima watu mm-hmm. afya so mm-hmm. yeye <laughs> mama ambaye amekaa yeah. kidogo ni so back to Uh, what is the indicator kwamba zinaonyesha kwamba ah watu kwenye kampuni fulani au mtu yote kwenye kampuni fulani kwamba haipo well off okay i think this is where uh, the the what we are calling the health mm. screening that yes. needs to be carried out mm. and uh, and the health screening could have the parameters like mm. like mm. if i may cite what we do usually mm. is Uh, because of the non communicable diseases mm. you know we check for body mass index the body fat the mm. fat etc mm. and then basically you know when an individual knows and when they know what are the normal ranges and where they fall mm. and if they see that they are in the mm. overweight range mm. then right away there is a wake up call for that person 
and okay. would be like, uh, oh, I need to do something about it. Mm. And then along with that, this can be reinforced with a seminar where we explain to them what do the mm. results mean mm. and what are the complications, you mm. know, and, and especially when it comes to lifestyle diseases, you do not see the complications right away. It is not instant. Mm. It is slow in progression and it comes up after 10 years, 15 mm. years or so. But, you know, we need to be careful. I mean, it's mm. like, it is all around the philosophy of prevention is better than cure. And mm. uh, just like anything else, just like mm. managing our finances, we need to manage our health numbers mm. as well. Mm. Yeah. I, I like that. So, Muda to come to Kimbia Sana. Yes. Nataka kwamba kwa Malina Mbaya Koza Kumalizia. You to learn about Kamba Naviona Sakamba. It will obtain the Kampuni and Bokama philosophy and Mabu Sama Kamba. Kampuni and Boy in Afian Zuri, or Fayakazo in Afian Zuri, a Kampuni Flani. Like I'm putting now in half year. So, what are the way forward now? Come across a certain high performance about physical health, where mm. physical health is important for mm. a person to be active, to be mm. alert, let's say, and to be well rested mm. as well. Mm. Because when you are active and alert, then mm. you are able to perform mm. better. Mm. And along with that. Mm. We cannot forget the mental health and the stress management mm. aspect because these are mm. very critical as well. And uh, you know, and for the managers, for the leadership to be aware of how to detect stress-related mm. problems, how mm. to detect mental mental health issues as mm. well, and then provide the required support to the staff. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Peter? Yeah. Compared to Kama and Tiara, keep to tell me about your human resource department they can do. Mm. It's basically to have the good organization healthy index. Mm. Organization healthy index is a component of the parameter of the team. It's a component of leadership, area, motivation, a team, it's a component of the client perspective. It's a component of the parameter of the human resource Mm. I find survey you engage what to when I find a survey independent survey sometimes it can be online or I will seek a work for your team you understand what is the real problem which exists exists in the organization so from the result you will be getting from the team then come a company in order to make sure you perform you get a well well of team in the organization to execute those projects you have those the idea you want to the strategic objective so when I work on the point where you are Weak. Mm -hmm. So initiative Zako, if you are not, you have a very bad result from the maybe learning and development. You increase your effort, your development, the team on it, giving more skills, giving more training. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I I like that. So um, kwa wind up. So nino gani na mushambo kwamba nataka kuliongea kwa watu to wind up the program. Karibu sana ba. Okay. Well, what I would say is mm. if you take care of your employee health, mm. then your business is going to be much, much healthier mm. and profitable and mm. high performing. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Peter? Peter? Yes. Mm. Tuache kuperform ili administrative loan, mm. tuondoke tuende kuwa HR partners. Mm. Ambao tuna understand business mm. inataka nini, tuna understand core business strategies, mm. tuna align strategies zetu HR strategies on mm. that line. So tutapata profit na return tutakazozipata tutasaidia hata sisi kwa sababu tukan develop our own de I mean, employee development goals as well as organization goals. So we will be happy and we will be okay. Kwamba ukilala utamka subui kwamba I'm going back to work for my company because I'm motivated. I'm happy. Yes. Shukran sana Mr. Asante sana. Na hapo ndo mwisho wa kipindi chetu cha leo ambao cha Career Clinic na tumaini kwamba unapata kujifunza mambo mengi namna kuweza kutengeneza high performance team pamoja na wala team. Na pia uh, next time kwamba tutapata ku discuss mambo mengine kadha wa kadha na speakers wengine. Na usisahau kwamba kusubscribe kwenye YouTube channel yetu hapo na pia uh, ku share na watu wengi as much as you can hii video ili uweze kwamba watu wengi waweze kupata ufahamu kuhusiana na ndani na kuweza kutengeneza high performance team. Na kumbuka kwamba Bakti ni one of the uh, speaker katika high strategic and high performance 
performance uh, leadership uh, conference mwaka 2018 na yeye ni one of the speaker katika mkutano huu ambao tutakuwa na speaker zaidi ya 18 na katika mambo ambayo atapata kuongelea na kufocus ni atakuwa na focus steps na namna gani ya kuanza kutengeneza uh, wellness team katika kampuni yako kwa sababu kwa mkuu na kampuni ambayo ipo well ipo wealth kwamba na kawe mwenyewe ina ukiwa unafanya kazi ambao wenye afya na kampuni pia inakuwa na afya na kumbuka kwamba uh, sio mkutano kukosa ni tarehe 28 mpaka 29 na baada yako tutakuwa na yacht party yes yacht party mara ngapi mhudhuria yacht party na kama ni mara ya kwanza usiogope sign up kwenye mkutano huu utapata package zote hizi kwenye high performance leadership summit mpaka jumani jalo santeni sana santeni sana yes santeni sana